Hey guys, what's going on? It is your buddy Keith. I'm here back live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England. If you've been paying attention to the YouTube channel over the past few days, you may have noticed your buddy Keith got to take over Soho Radio in London. We had Youth Illusion out there, Pin Up, Hannah Paris, Macy Rayner. It was really cool. Um, definitely check out some of the live acoustic videos. We've got a couple up from Youth Illusion. Let me know what you think, guys. But we're back. I've got more guitar videos for you. So without further ado, here we've got a USA Jackson WR1 Warrior. This and the Randy Rhodes are my all-time favorite guitars from this company, Jackson. You've got a beautiful Mother of Pearl Jackson logo on the headstock there. Made in USA, of course. And stunning mother of pearl shark fin inlays that they are famous for on an ebony fretboard the serial number is stamped under the last fret you've got 24 of them and you can see it's u17 what is that it's an 861 so that's the serial number seymour duncan pickups i think these are called invaders if i remember correctly i don't know every pickup model known to man people chime in on the uh, comment section. Let us know what the exact models are if you remember, but I'm pretty sure it's like Invader is the word for the ones with these hex raised pole pieces. Floyd Rose Tremolo, of course. Interesting to note the different fonts for Floyd Rose on the side. Some are, you know, over the years it's evolved. And you've got your one volume, one tone, and your jeweled three-way selector switch. Very cool. Now this is the Snow White, or I can't remember what the white is for Jackson. I know ESP, they call it Snow White. I don't know if it's Alpine White or Arctic White, but it's white. It's the Jackson White. That's what they should just call it. With black bevels. We've got a white Randy Rhodes with black pinstripes right now. And everybody yelled at me because I said black bevels on that. A couple very pedantic YouTube watchers getting on my case about it. But that's okay. The world needs those people. And man, it just looks stunning. The black really helps break up the body lines and, and kind of details those cool angles and cutaways to a higher degree, for sure. Beautiful Jackson molded flight case as well. SKB flight case with the logos, with the TSA locks. As always, I don't think I've ever had a single Jackson case that wasn't TSA 002. I guess they just really like that number. Cuts down on key costs as well. So yeah, beautiful rubberized, thick, heavy-duty handle. Let's go over the condition. First, I'll go over the binding. Check this out. So Jackson, I don't know if they still do it. I feel like they don't. I'll double check. But they have this kind of like faux ivory textured binding that they do where it looks like you can see the grooves and the bone. Think of an old antique piano key. Same kind of thing. So that's really cool. Um, we have that. For condition, this thing's in really good shape. It's got a couple dings to, to note, but aside from that, it's been pretty well looked after. It's obvious it hasn't been gigged. So I'll lay it down here ever so carefully um and for those of you that aren't familiar with the warrior shape it's essentially you kind of have like a lower part of what would they call a death angel i think or a randy rhodes with kind of a bent tip and then you kind of have the wing of a kelly up here i feel like it's kind of a yeah, it's kind of like a, a Jackson Randy Rhodes meets a, a Kelly. But it really works. And there's a lot of companies over the years that have done this kind of shape, have tried to get it right. Um, I remember Washburn had one like this when I was taking guitar lessons as a 13-year-old kid in Florida. I can't remember for the life of me what that was called. But it uh, was really cool. I love that guitar. Now, now I know much much later in life that that thing was a 
imported piece of junk. But that's okay. It looked rad. This thing totally looks rad. And in my opinion, is the very best design to pull off this kind of pointy star look. Offset look. It's got one chip on this horn. You can see the the detail of it there. Personally, what I would do is I would just get a little bit of wood filler, patch that up, and then get some white enamel and go over it. Um, or you could just kind of cake it up with white enamel and nail polish if you wanted to, just to make it not so conspicuous. I mean, again, from the top, you can't see it. It's not that noticeable. Uh, and that's it. There's nothing on the top that I'm seeing. Nothing on any of the other horns that I'm seeing. The headstock point is all groovy. If we go over here. Pretty rare to see it with no marks or chips. Cool. Cool dust or something there yeah and then on the back again i'm going to do this ever so slightly we'll give you some more of the details there we go so on the back we've got our jackson branded tuners with the r symbol the early ones from the 80s had a tm Trademark at the top. I don't know why or when they transitioned from TM to R for reserved, but gold stars to those in the comment section who give us the answer to that. And then the beautiful neck through design with obviously amazing access to the bottom of the neck here. The Shredder's dream. You've got the brushed steel back plates, which I love. So much nicer than cheap plastic. And then this is the other little cosmetic thing is you have a little bit of the very thin hairlines in the, I don't know if it, it looks like it's just in the lacquer. Kind of like a little bit of an eggshell crack kind of thing right there. There's a minor, super minor little thing right there. Um... little line right there there's not much to really speak of and there's a little bit of oh, i guess how could i i don't want to say i don't think it's really stained i think if you rub it i was rubbing it and it's coming off but just from the case the you know the dye in the black of the case has a few little spots like right there and there again guys very very minor when you look standing over it it's not something that really screams out at you, but you need to be aware that it's there if this is one that you want to buy. It is for sale at EssexRecordingStudios.com and on Reverb.com. All the guitars you see on the channel were just at about 700 videos, guys. Very exciting. Very, very nice. And um, what do we have coming up next? Well, we've got a lefty Les Paul Standard. We've got, this is crazy, this is a Queensryche ESP, custom, Whew, we had so many guitars come in today, so many, another ESP full thickness Eclipse, an LTD Kirk Hammett model with green skull inlays, that will be coming up, and then some more goodies down here, mostly ESPs, so. Stick around, dudes. More to come on the channel. And thanks for all the support, guys. We're, we're over 3,100 subscribers. We are kicking some serious ass. And there's going to be some exciting stuff coming in the next couple weeks. So, I look forward to uh, chatting more with you guys about it. All right, dudes. I got to go. A lot of work to do tonight. We'll be up to like 1, 2 in the morning. Um, so bear with my tired self. I'll try to keep 
the excitement and energy up to 11. We'll see how it goes. Later, dudes.